Do you guys need awesome and obviously free effects for your videos? Make sure to check out the description. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. It is Sunday, so I thought, okay, why not should I upload an extra video on Sunday that someone has requested under my latest videos, which is how to make those kinds of custom Instagram story posts in Photoshop. So make sure to smash the like button down below for this tutorial. And I would say, let's jump into Photoshop. And please don't pay attention to the sun. It's really bright outside, so that's why it's covering like the half of my shirt. But that doesn't matter, and I would say, let's jump straight into Photoshop. Okay guys, right now we are in Photoshop, and what I'm, go what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to go to the description and you want to find the download link of this Photoshop template. I created this for you, so you can just go ahead and download it and open it up in Photoshop. And once we've done that, we can proceed. So I'm gonna give you guys a little time to go ahead and download it. It is just completely for free, and then you can just pause this video, download Download it, open it up, and then you can just do it along with me. Okay, so when you have downloaded and opened this up in Photoshop, this is basically the template that you will get. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna promote a video of our channel. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is you want to also pick a background that is the same kind of color as your thumbnail of the video. So what you want to do is, I'm gonna just drag in a blue background, which is this one. I just found this one on uh, Google. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch this guy until it fits. Now, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna also uh, go to filter and we're going to pick blur and we're going to pick gosh and blur and we're going to blur this just a little bit not too much so once we've done that we're going to click on ok then what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our finished thumbnail which is going to be this one this is the thumbnail of the video i dropped uh, last tuesday so once we've done that we're going to also go ahead and add a little bit a little bit of shadow to it so we're going to right click on the thumbnail we're going to pick options and at the bottom we're going to pick uh, gl outer glow and shadow so if you click on Okay, as you can see, that one looks really, really nice. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our text that says new video or new video is up. And then at the bottom, it says link in bio. So we're not gonna do that because we're gonna do that in the Instagram app itself. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna just drag in a black image to have it give it kind of a background. Okay, so this is the image. We're gonna just drag this guy to the top and we're gonna make it around uh, this uh, size. Now we're gonna click on the check mark and we're gonna lower the opacity to around, I would say, 70%. That's great. We're gonna also do that at the bottom. So we're gonna duplicate the black layer and we're gonna put that down at the bottom. Now, if you can see, we have a nice black bar which says new video is up, link in bio. So that looks really, really great. So I think we are kind of done with this Instagram story template. Template. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file We're gonna click on save as and save this image to a JPEG or a PNG onto our desktop I'm just gonna call this Instagram story Then I'm going to pick the format which is going to be JPEG and I'm going to click on save And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna email this image to ourselves Okay, as you can see right now We are on our email and I'm going to just you know the you can leave the uh, the topic or the subject just empty You can also leave the text text empty. We're going to fill in our email address right here. Boom. And now we're going to pick the attachments and we're going to pick the image that we just made in Photoshop. Here it is, Instagram story. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to add it. And now it is fully ready to be sent. So I'm going to click on send and then we're going to go to our phone. As you can see right now, we are on our phone and I'm going to tap on email. And as you can see at the top, it says my name and then we're going to click on it and boom, here we have the image. So we're going to hold our finger on the image and then at the bottom, we can choose to save this image. It is all in Dutch, guys, I know, but it's pretty simple to follow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Instagram. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create on clip click on this little icon the camera icon and then we can actually as you can see right now create a new story we're gonna swipe up and we're gonna tap on the image that we made in Photoshop now as you can see right now this is basically our template so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type in some text new video is up exclamation mark we're gonna pick a nice font I think this one looks very very nice we're gonna make sure that it is nice and centered and then at the bottom we're gonna do the same and we're gonna type in link in bio so we're gonna go ahead and do it like this make it a little bit smaller make sure that it is nice and centered and you can also make it a little bit smaller as well and we are ready to post 
this Instagram story to our Instagram and that's how you make a custom one. I'm just going to dis discard this one for a second. So once we are on our Instagram page, what you can do is you can go to edit profile and obviously you can just go ahead and go to website and you can just remove this one and you can just copy and paste the link of your latest video. So that's how you do it guys and this is how you make custom Instagram stories in Photoshop. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And if you want to see those finished Instagram stories on my Instagram, make sure to follow me at, at Alex Halford and also on Twitter. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys obviously tomorrow in a brand new video as always when a brand new week starts. So thank you and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.